Day two continues here in San Diego in the Pro Paddle League. Again, great victory for the Atlantics. Now we move on to the second match in center court here in San Diego. As of course, you'll see both teams, both the Las Vegas Smash and the Houston Volts face off in just moments. We're gonna get things started, of course, getting started with the Houston Volts. As it's Claudia Fernandez and Lorena Rufo on the ladies' side. And of course the men, represented by Pablo Garcia and Alex Chosas. Now it's time, ladies and gentlemen, let's give a round of applause to the Las Vegas Smash. Starting out with the ladies, Alejandra Alonso. Of course, she's accompanied by Marta Ortega. And on one end for the men, Pablo Cardona. And Gonzalfonso. To everyone competing, best of luck, ladies and gentlemen. Enjoy the match. Okay, here we are back with the action on the center court with the new matchup against the Houston Bolt and Las Vegas Smash. The female matchup will face Claudia Fernandez and Lorena Rufo against Alejandra Alonso and Marta Ortega. Las Vegas looking for their second victory of this week while the Houston Bolts also are going for the same thing because they have been defeated by the Erkense Matrix. So let's see who, which team can get their victory today. From uh, Las Vegas Smash, Alejandro Alonso and Marta Ortega, we have seen them before. This week, they lost against the Cancun Waves in the first match. Then they defeated yesterday Patri Yaguno and Araceli Martinez. Remember that Patti was retired by an injury in their knee. And we are about to start the female match. That we are, as uh, the men pose as well for their match later. Uh, Alex Chozas and Pablo Garcia on one side, against Alfonso and uh, Pablo Cardona on the other, Alfonso. And uh, Cardona yesterday came away with uh, a famous win for Vegas. Yes, and Gonzalfonso just arrived to San Diego straight from Marbella, straight from being a yeah. champion in the A1 paddle Marbella Open. He flied all the way from there, from Spain, to join his team and get the first victory for them. Yeah, yesterday winning 3-0 against uh, the Arkansas Matrix. That's incredible dedication. Like you said, he uh, flew for almost 24 hours, did uh, Gonzalo Fonso, just to be here. And, uh, me meanwhile, as uh, the players are warming up, let's cross over to, this, to the grandstand court. A couple, um, well, like I said, about 50 yards away from here because on the grandstand court, we've got uh, a match that is in its conclusion between the waves and the beats. And it is uh, Tolito Aguirre and Agustin Gomez Silingo who could be closing out. Yisania Gutierrez and Teo Zapata here already beating them in the first set via a double break, consecutive breaks there for them uh, midway through the set. And now there's two points away from glory, two points away, make that one point away from tying this series at one match apiece. 
Yes, Nico, and if this happens, then we will have to be very and in this game set and match for the LAB, they won the males match up. So we'll go down to the mixed double over on uh, the grandstand court to determine the winner between the Waves who are desperate to get any win they can to qualify for that uh, PPL Cup final in New York. And so right now all the pressure goes to Pedro Virceda and Teo Zapata. They need that win, Nico, as you said, against Jessica Castello and Leonel Tolito Aguirre. Two uh, left-sided players there playing for uh, playing for the for Cancun. They'll have to get it done. Let's uh, get back into the action here at center court because uh, we've got four absolute studs of players who are about to face off. Almost uh, same generation from uh, for uh, Alejandra Alonso and Claudia Fernandez. Yeah, they Ortega. used to play together. Absolutely, and uh, Martita Ortega, who is uh, only 27, is by far the oldest player out of the four here, which I'm sure uh, she uh, she won't really appreciate. That'll make her feel old, won't it? Uh, but uh, Marta Ortega, again, former number one of the world in uh, 2019 with Marta Marrero at, at, Marrero at just uh, 22 years old at the time. Uh, one of the best players in the world, has been for a very long time now. We've known her since she was a young teenager. And uh, all that time, she always has been at the top, and she will continue to be at the very tippy top of uh, professional paddle for many years to come. Such a pro as well. Lorena Rufo, plenty of future there, just 22 years of age. Yes, four very talented players. One with a lot of experience, as you said, almost uh, he, she has already been the best player of the world with only 22 years old. She knows perfectly what it's like to be that age. But of course today, she will have a very tough match, especially in that cross court with Claudia Fernandez, who is actually competing alongside Gemma Triay in Premier Padel. And she already knows what is to defeat Marta Ortega in that cross court. So Martita will be very careful about trying to avoid Claudia Fernandez to control the rhythm of the game. In the left side cross court battle, Two players that are more similar in their style. Two aggressive players who likes the most to play short rallies. Absolutely. That perhaps doesn't feel so comfortable when the the, the match is goes longer. Absolutely the opposite to their partners. Yeah, Claudia Fernandez and uh, Lorena Rufo. Lost in straight sets, didn't they, against Patti Aguno and Cata Tenorio on the opening day. Yes, they did. Uh, yes, but they didn't play at their level. No. I think that. Especially Claudia. Yeah, especially Claudia. He, she didn't enter the game in any, in any moment. No, perhaps at the first time, when uh, she was not receiving many balls, she was being freezed by Marta, by Cata and Patti. Then she couldn't connect. And perhaps when she was feeling a little bit better, Lorena Rufo absolutely goes out of the match and uh, there's, there was no way out, no way back for them. Ortega and Alonso, meanwhile, won yesterday against the Arkansas Matrix. They uh, took care of business with Ara Mart Martinez playing in the right-hand side of the court, remember? But... Uh, it wasn't Good perhaps afternoon. as Welcome straightforward to as they would have liked. They definitely uh, still have some kinks to sort out, some some uh, some chemistry issues perhaps. Not on a personal level, they get along brilliantly. They're very good friends, but they had a couple of times there yesterday, especially when, when they got in each other's way, when a ball in the middle, they both went for it or they both didn't go for it, and they're just left staring at each other. Uh, that's some stuff they need to figure out here throughout the week as it, as it progresses. Yes, this is 
something very normal when you don't play with your usual partner. No, there are things that you have to work out along during the week. Surely, the match they play together, the the best they are gonna play. Still going through their uh, respective warm-ups. Rufo and uh, Alonso in that cross-court. Similar style of players, fair to say maybe. Maybe Alonso has a little bit more smashing threat than Rufo, although Rufo does really like those overhead shots. Yes, I told you before that they look very similar to, to yeah. me, no? because uh, they are two aggressive players, love playing in the short rallies. Perhaps, as you said, Alejandra has a most, uh, more powerful smash than Lorena, but Lorena can push harder and stronger with, his, with her Vibora. Um, for me, one thing Lorena should be careful about is it's about her consistency, because the previous day we see her committing many mistakes, many unforced errors, and when you are playing such a tide, much you cannot be uh, you cannot allow that for Marta Ortega in that cross court with Claudia Fernandez you think for Marta it's almost like uh, like looking at herself at that very age because Claudia Fernandez is has a little bit of a similar profile to what Marta Ortega perhaps used to be when she was younger as well and of course there's e easy similarities to draw in the sense that Marta at a very young age was very good already and the same goes for Claudia they're both drive players but stylistically uh, maybe five years ago Marta Ortega and Claudia Fernandez now a couple of similarities there or am I am I stretching no no I agree with you because uh, when Marta started she used to be more a defensive kind of player no in the last two or three years she sh she has been growing and developing her style and trying to turn into a more aggressive uh, right side player in the case of Claudia she's a more tactical player a classic drive as we can say she still has to work a lot in an Trusting herself the most, no? Trusting herself in going for the points, in trying, because she has enough weapons. I saw her training. I, I, it was m my pleasure to train with her when she was only 15, and I saw what she's capable of. Mm. But sometimes I have the feeling that she still doesn't trust mm. at, uh, at in, in what she can do. When you are, sp when we are, we are speaking about aggressive style of play. No, we all know that Claudia is a great defender, and the way she walks through the the court, it's it's amazing because she looks like an experienced player. She absolutely likes to control the rhythm, the tempos. Let's see how she can do this time against Martita. well two years ago in Denmark I was there with World Paddle Tour and I was courtside I was interviewing Claudia Fernandez when she had just made the round of 16 for the first time in her career she was 16 then that was the first time reaching around 16 two years later she's a title winner now she's uh, evolved at a very rapid pace she is supposed to be one of the stars of the future yeah of paddle that time Ortega getting the better of her. Ortega, of course, who will want to remind everyone, hang on, the future's all well and good, but I'm here in the present as well. Don't forget about me. <laughs> no, it's sometimes uh, I, I have the feeling that when we spoke about, when we speak about uh, Marta Ortega, uh, we are speaking about a, a veteran, but she's not. She's no. uh, very young yet. She has a lot of future, a lot of Brilliant. path to to go for it. She's still got a lot of future. Right now she's playing with Sofia Araujo. Mm. They managed to get their first tournament yep. together. They were the champions in their first tournament in Premier Paddle. 
Yeah, they won a, an Open 500 last year in World yeah. Paddle Tour when they played together then. Although it was a very temporary partnership as Ortega uh, then ran off or switched to Yematriai. But now she's back with Araujo and it seems to be a, a winning combination. Araujo, another player who really has evolved massively. Great smash meanwhile from Alejandra Alonso to seal a love game for Vegas. Great news then for uh, Vegas to see them starting the match in such a good fashion. <laughs> the vaults in need of a response. Remember on day one, they lost 3-0 uh, to the Arkansas Matrix. And yesterday was their rest day, so maybe they'll uh, now have rested, recovered and retooled as well. Tried it. Tried the backhand drop yeah. shot. Not that time for Marta Ortega. Fernandez tried it once, got a high lob back, and then whacked it out of the cage. Potentially having another uh, love game here. As Lorena Rufo flexed her muscles with that smash for the first time as well. Alonso and Rufo with one smash each. Oh. Alonso lets it fall. Rufo takes net position. Alonso under pressure now. Rufo winds up the smash, executes on the okay. smash. Ortega touches the net. And it's one all then. If you don't, the vaults. Back on terms, one game apiece. First point won by the receiving team in this match after two love games. Ortega uh, attempting a passing shot but not quite able to execute. Rufo puts it up high. And again over Alonso. for that time, looking for the angle. Trying to hit it to the backhand of Alejandro Alonso, which was one of the tactics that Batiaguno and Cata Tenorio employed on Monday as well. Especially Tenorio there looking for the parallel for the backhand of Alonso so often. 
finding so much joy from it as well. Alonso tries to smash. Oh, and yeah, Rufo is too close to the net that time. Easy tap out of the courts for Lorena Rufo. And potential danger for Vegas here. Accelerate things, look to to be aggressive. Not quite able to. Good chance for uh, potential break points there for for Houston. Very high low. This could go out of the cage entirely. Alonso, yeah, she had absolutely no room to work with. And Claudia Fernandez lets her know about it. It's a gold point. It's a chance to break for the Houston Volts. much of the court does such a good job with those lobs into Alonso's corner. Alonso player who's always looking to go forward, always looking to take net position and do damage from there because she can do a lot of damage from there. The offensive arsenal that she has is absolutely tremendous. Here's Ortega working from the back, now approaching the net. It's a bit too high from Fernandez. Ortega attacked it. Now Alonso looking for Rufo. Alonso looking for the smash. Behind the back goes Rufo. Fernandez tries the smash and out of the cage it goes. And there's the break for Houston. It's 2 1 to the vaults with serve. Advantage vaults. Serve. 
back underway. And like we said, the Houston Volts have taken the lead of this encounter again. Alonso Nortega find themselves in trouble as Ortega does not quite get the block on that smash. Good combination play between Fernandez and Rufo, who are clicking here. Got a very good uh, dynamic going right now with the two young Spaniards, Rufo and uh, Claudia Fernandez. Nice return there from Ortega. Ortega, when she goes into attack mode like that, lethal player. Drop shot from Claudia Fernandez. There you go. Easy as that. 3-1, they confirm their break. Houston gets some daylight between themselves and Vegas. So caught that one all wrong. Now I think I know it's having a quick uh, emergency meeting there. Ortega. Now so far it's been all Houston here. They really have been on top, the votes. Accelerating hard from way back there, and then ran out of room. Took it off Alonso and Ortega cleverly, very cleverly, I might add, played it to the fence. You better have something good when you take it off Alejandro Alonso and uh, she had exactly that. From love 30, they equalize. Game Vegas, get it back to 3-2. Just got it a little bit closer again on the scoreboard. But it's still vaults on top. Thank you. 
here and a wry smile from Claudia Fernandez who has been uh, on top of proceedings here so far Lorena Rufo deep lobs those cross deep lobs into Alonso's corner have been very effective for her so far but not this time up a bit oh, and then Marta Ortega just ran out of gas it uh, looked like Shot from Claudia Fernandez. That is ridiculous ability from Claudia Fernandez on that backhand. Again, gives us a little smile about it as well. But how about this for a bit of technique? Let me tell you to beat Ortega, who is uh, one of the quickest players on tour. And she tries again, but this time not as successfully. Alonso and Alonso put it so deep in the corner that Claudia Fernandez couldn't get it out. So it is juice, it's a goal point, it's a break point for Vegas who can get right back in this thing. Marta Ortega wants the re responsibility of returning. Ortega on the spin, she replies to this one. Alonso now getting amongst it wisely, lets it fall again. Rufo finding that corner of Alonso very, very well. And then the Rulo from Claudia Fernandez, beautifully done. Houston dodge a break point here. 
and stay on top. Four games to two to the vaults. Vegas still chasing. So, throws it up high, smashed back down by Lorena Rufo. Rufo has been very effective from that left-hand side. Claudia Fernandez, of course, is doing uh, the bulk of the work in terms of preparation, in terms of uh, dictating the play, but Rufo, in her role, in her role as sort of the finisher, the punisher, if you will, Extremely effective from that left-hand side. Flat, drop shot. Oh, and again, Claudia Fernandez just working those angles. First, the drop yeah. shot to drag Ortega out of position and then the deep volley and crucially on that volley the second bounce is before the back wall if it does hit the wall it almost sort of gives the defending player a second life to coming at it so it's so important with those as Alejandro Alonso absolutely sends that ball flying it's so important for that second bounce to be before the wall or as close to the wall as possible Two break points for the Volts. Can they double their lead here? There you go. Whoa, how about that for a block from Claudia Fernandez? Can't finish the play, but it's still alive. Unbelievable block here. Here comes Alonso. Lightning quick reflexes sent high by Lorena Rufo. And finished off again. Claudia Fernandez is on fire right now. And Houston take a 5-2 lead. They will serve for the sets when we come back. Las Vegas are in big trouble.
back on their way as Houston are serving for the set here. Two oh. breaks for uh, Rufo and Fernandez. down so much, oh, Rufo made a gesture as if to say, oh, Brutal. I didn't mean that at all. But they all count, it's 30 love. And look at this, the vaults just two points away from claiming this opening set. They got just enough, kept that return in. Was wise to let it go. Just in case. Ortega. A bit of a mix up there. Ortega will still attack it. Puts a little up high. Also has a long look as she runs back to get that one, but her lob goes way out from Alejandra Alonso. 40 love and therefore these are four set points for the Houston Volts and this has gone by very very quickly indeed poor return from Alonso and there it is it is 6-2 Houston who have uh, raced out of the blocks here flown out of the traps What a start for uh, Claudia Fernandez and Lorena Rufo, who are on fire right now. As for uh, as for the rivals, Marta Ortega and Alejandra Alonso, well, they are in a bit of uh, in a bit of a struggle. They can't connect shots. They can't string together points, but still a lot of battle to be played. Here we got to look at the stats, only 37 minutes for this first set. It takes only 37 to the Houston Bulls to get the set for 6-2. 27 total points won against 18 from the Las Vegas. Great match from Claudia Fernandez and Lorena Rufo against Marta Ortega and Alejandra Alonso, they are trying now to start the second set in a different way. They need to change something if they, if they want to still have chances to get the victory for their team. 15 love. Good service from Martita. Now the reflection of the net help her and it's 30 love. We have said before the match that Claudia has already known what is how to defeat Marta Ortega in that cross court and she's doing great today. Another mistake this time from 
Alonso. He was trying to push harder with the bajada. 30-15. Vegas looking uh, for their second victory of this week. They didn't start really well against the Cancun Waves. Good counter attack with the forehand from Fernandez. 30 all. She keeps in the line. Holding this positive momentum for the Volts. Second serve. Another great counter attack for the from the back. And it's another chance to break for the balls. They don't stop. They want another break. They want to start the second set the same way as they finished the first one with a break, taking the lead. No way out for the Vegas team. You score the point. At least they Save the first one, thanks to that unforced error from uh, Lorena Rufo. Rufo. It will be a golden point received by Claudia Fernandez. Let's see if they can get it. And they got it. Alejandra Alonso seems to be on a hurry. And while the teams go resting here to the benches, we will fly straight to the grandstand where the Cancun Waves are real close to close the series for them in the mixed double match. 5-3 for Salazar and Zapata against Tolito Aguirre and Carolina Orsi. It's 15 love, Cancun again really close to get another victory it would be the third one of the week for them surely they are giving all they have to secure their spot in the final cup remember that the cancun waves are actually the number 10 of the qualification ranking of this regular season of the pro party league alejandra with that forehand to the net Strange mistake from her. 30-15. Good first service. Teo with that volley to the middle. Alejandra again. De Bandeja. Tolito going to the net. Block from Orsi. And Tolito trying with the smash, but blocked. Well, by Alejandra, what a angle from the Madrilinian. And it's 40-50, even Tolito Aguirre is congratulating Alejandra for that save. Unbelievable shot from the player born in Madrid. 40-15, they got three match points to win this match, three match points to get the series for them. Mexico. It's happy about, should be happy about having the Cancun waves here this week. It's true that perhaps the first two events, they didn't have good results, but here this week, they are turning into a great favorite to get the championship of this third event. Salazar serving. Good luck from Tolito against Salazar with the forehand. And this love's gonna be out. And it will be a golden point. Two match point saves, but LA beat. 
Let's see who is going to return. Seems that it will be Tolito Aguirre. First serve in. And another love to Alejandra. This time she chooses a bajada through that parallel. Good block from Orsi near the net. Battle of Chiquitas. Tolito going far away from his place that actually was empty in the end. There's game set and match for Salazar and Zapata. Game set are match for the Cancun Waves. Now Alejandra is uh, crossing over the net to see if Tolito, it's okay. So Cancun gets the series finally, at least another victory for the Mexican team. We come back to center court where Las Vegas still looking for a chance to come back because Fernandez and Rufo have already taken the lead and they are two nil in the second set. Lot of problems right now for Alonso and Ortega. Easy smash from Alejandra, but good save from Claudia as the ball was in. Another try this time from Rufo. What a cross over from Claudia Fernandez. Stepping no. into the middle of the net to close that gap and put that ball where Martita couldn't do anything. 15 all. Claudia Fernandez going bigger in the net. And right now, everything is a problem, seems to be a problem for Las Vegas to smash. 30-15. Another Real. mistake from Marta Ortega. She has to calm down a little bit. Seems to be in a hurry to finish the point. Good bandeja, good counter-attack from the right side of water. Safe out of the cage from Lorena Rufo. It was a good smash from Alejandra, but Lorena was just standing over there. She knew that Ale was going to take that ball out of court. Beautiful highlight from Rufo. I don't know if that ball was going to enter in the end, but we will never know. And it's 30-40. Second serve and another chance for Houston to take another break of advantage. Good forehand from Martita. Good block by Claudia again. Claudia doing all the effort not to lose the net. And this love from Martita straight in the corner. Rufo with another high love. Alejandra with the bajada. And Rufo will sh try with the smash. Not a good one at all. But a water save again from Lorena Rufo to get the break. Unbelievable, outstanding. Watch it again off the side wall to save that ball and put the three nil in the scoreboard as we are going to the benches to listen to the coaches.
and the players are back on court to restart the action. Elena Rufo to serve. Houston looking forward to confirm the break and keep the advantage. Matita looks really desperate. She's not finding a way to come back. She's not finding a way to feel comfortable today. Yesterday they have a great performance against the Arkansas Matrix, against Patti Yaguno and Araceli Martinez, but today they are not finding themselves. And in the other side, Absolutely the opposite for Lorena Rufo and Claudia Fernandez that they haven't had a good debut. But today they are showing us all their power, all their strength as a couple. It's very love. Again, Claudia with the bandeja to the corner of Martita. Now Alejandra pulled the trigger, but the smash was too flat. Rena again being patient in the net. Claudia blocking this time the smash from Alonso. It's a winner. And it's 30-15. Good attack now from Vegas. Claudia insisting with that backhand volley. Good smash from Alonso. Off the wall from Rufo. And under the angle, moving Vegas from one side to another taking the initiative and they got another point thanks to another unforced error from Martita Ortega. The veteran player on court. It's not feeling the ball properly today. It's Obviously that she's not having the touch. It's 40-15. Another great save from Rufo, another mistake from Ortega. And it's 4-0. Houston Bolts absolutely dominating this match. It doesn't seem to me that there's a way to come back for Las Vegas, so they will have to trust in their male couple. Formed by Pablo Cardona and Gonzalo Alfonso, who will face Pablo Garcia and Alex Chosas after this match. Fifteen all. A little bit of breathing for Ortega. Good return from Fernandez. Ortega trying to play a drop shot. Another great defensive work from Rufo. They are battling for every single shot. They don't give up. And again, this time, Alonso put that ball out. Good portres from Alejandra. They have to work a lot to win a single point. So it's not easy for them. 30-15.
high low from uh, Rufo. The win takes its part. And another smash. Another winner. No, not a winner. It was really good recover by Rufo. It's 30 all, and again, all the alarms on for Vegas. First serve in, good serve, easy point for them. 40-30. Nice return again. Rufo gaining the net. And another mistake from Alonso trying to play a soft ruler to the fans golden point and it will be Claudia, Claudia Fernandez the one who will take the responsibility to receive this one good return from Claudia with the love who got stick to the back wall Alejandra with the bajada Claudia with the bajada with her uh, Backhand through the middle. Alejandra couldn't block it, and it's another break for Houston Bolts. They keep the lead. They have five mil in the second set, and they have also won the first one. So they are one step away of getting the victory for their team. Let's take a break. We will be back in a few minutes. It's time for the teams to come back. And uh, Houston Bolts will serve for the match. It's a very surprising result because in the papers we thought that this match will be much more equal between these two pairs. This is absolutely not the difference between them. But today, Claudia. Fernandez and Lorena Rufo have been very superior. It's 15 all after that short return. Fifteen all. Vivora from uh, Claudia. Good combination of polish. She tried to play a drop shot. Good block. Another effort in defense from uh, Rufo. Great work from Rufo today. An amazing performance from her. Oh, this time she got that ball. She got that block. But finally he find she finds the net. Thirty fifteen fifteen thirty. Sorry, and this is the smash to put the thirty all in the scoreboard. Very brave Rufo with the decision. It was not an easy one. And the balls still dominating the game from the beginning since the very first point of this match 
Martita trying to look for an angle. She doesn't find it because Claudia closed that gap off the wall. And another winner from Rufo saved by Martita at last. Rufo with the bandeja and a good parallel this time from Ortega from the other side of the court. They have a chance to get at least one break to stay alive in this match because Fernandez and Rufo are not giving them more many chances to do it. Again, Rufo with the Vibora to the middle. Good shot from Martita that Claudia couldn't save. And it's the first break of the match for the Vegas smash. It's 5-1 to the Bolts. There's still a lot of advantage for them. It's a long, long way back, isn't it, for, uh, for Vegas? But you have to start somewhere. Yes, but Nico, this, they are being almost <laughs> expulsed for the for the court because this the, the balls are being really superior today. It's an amazing performance from uh, Rufo and Claudia Fernandez. Finally, uh, Alonso and Ortega seem to have found their groove a little bit. Albeit for pride, they uh, are going on a bit of a streak now. Good love from uh, Rufo. Yeah, that's a lob. She's found so much joy in that into the corner of Alonso. Yes. And how about that for a volley from Claudia Fernandez? She anticipated perfectly the intentions of Alonso. 15 all. Martita looking for the fence. When Chiquita to another, and this going to be another point for the Bolts. Yeah, sometimes it's easier to close out a match on your opponent's serve, because you don't have that pressure of being expected to win. Yes, but the distance wow. is so long. What a return. How about that from Lorena Rufo? Passing shot with the return to get the First match point. Three of them. Alonso lets it go. Blocked by Rufo, who takes next net position. Rufo wants to close it out in style and does so. Lorena Rufo makes it game, sets, and match for the Houston Volts. It is 6 2 and 6 1. Absolute domination from the Houston Volts. Las Vegas smash are a point down. Houston are a point up. What a famous victory for Claudia Fernandez and Lorena Rufo, who lost on Monday, but now have come back in style. An outstanding uh, version from uh, Claudia Fernandez and Lorena Rufo. It's not easy to get this kind of result against Alejandro Alonso and Marta Ortega. This match should have been more tied. Let's have a look at the Adidas smash of the match then. Lorena Rufo has been absolutely firing at will, but it is uh, Alejandra Alonso, or is it this one? Yes, it is this one from Claudia Fernandez, who uh, got out of the cage, and so we're getting a bit of a two for one here in the same point. Claudia Fernandez showing Alonso how it's done, the teenager, with another spectacular performance today. Something uh, we are growing accustomed to saying, but Claudia Fernandez an immensely, immensely talented player. Yes, we have been saying that we have seen her level in her first appearance here in the PPL last Monday. But today we have seen this at is her, her level. best. Yes, yes, this is her level. This is what you can expect from, uh, from Claudia Fernandez when she is on it. And boy, was she on it here today. An unbelievable result. And I think we can cross over courtside and hear from the winners and their uh, their thoughts and their uh, 
and their speech after winning. Sensaciones del partido, por favor. Bueno, la verdad es que nos, o sea, hemos jugado muy bien, la verdad, yes, hemos empezado well. eh, muy concentradas, muy activas, we very, que era lo que habíamos active, hablado antes del partido, que nos enfrentábamos contra una pareja que, bueno, knew, es de los mejores uh, del mundo también, the, y nada, no podíamos hacer otra cosa que empezar allí. Facing, so so we yeah, we 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 played a today. tremendous game. Not only that, we also played against one of the best in the world, so we stepped up our game, we were able to do uh, the best we could today, so that, that's a great performance on their part. Ahora, mirando hacia el futuro, siempre quiero hacer esa pregunta porque uno viendo cómo quieren aspirar para poder estar en la lucha. ¿Dónde se ven ustedes? ¿Dónde quieren estar? No sé, me veo, eh, bueno, intento mejorar cada día y me veo pues arriba con donde están las mejores. I, uh, como I try to get better every day. Y Ale, que también son eh, unas jugadoras increíbles. Yo me veo like bueno, someone, como, entre las like mejores jugadoras del mundo. Ojalá. Tita. And uh, hopefully I can be yeah, one of the best players she, she, of the world one day. Feels that she should be among some of the best players events, some of the best teams in the world. We've been facing the best, we've been beating the best, we've been able to do our best, so why not start looking as high as possible in this tournament as well to be able to be getting the best results possible. So a big win against for Houston. Let's hear it for Claudia Fernandez, Lorena Rufo. Big win for them to get started. We still have lots more action to come here as the second point will be played in just a couple of minutes here in the Pro Paddle League. A huge win picked up then by uh, the Houston Vols who needed to get out to a good start here and that they have done. Claudia Fernandez and Lorena Rufo shown us what they are all about. They made Al Alejandra Alonso and Marta Ortega look ordinary and that I think is the highest compliment you can pay them. Yes, as I was saying, getting this kind of result with such a difference in the scoreboard against a couple like Marta Ortega and Alejandra Alonso, it's a very difficult challenge, Nico. It's not easy to get it. And they show what they are capable of. So perhaps this is a new restart for this couple, for the Houston Bolts. Let's see if they can keep up uh, the electricity here, the Houston Bolts. As uh, the men's match will follow very, very shortly indeed. But for now, it's uh, it's been all positive and all good news for the vaults and for these two youngsters, the 22-year-old and a 19-year-old, Rufo and Fernandez, respectively, who closed it out here in absolute style. Here are the, the stats from the match that we have just seen. Seven of six break points. We've seen a couple of very wasteful performances earlier, Ceci, but that is <laughs> clinical. I think that it's the perfect performance from uh, Rufo and, uh, and Fernandez. An hour and three minutes to dispatch Ortega and Alonso. What a performance, and we'll be, we'll be back shortly with the men's double. Don't go anywhere. <laughs> 